Muy buenos días, déjenme sacarme. Ah, muy bien, ¿cómo están? How are you? Muchas gracias por estar aquí otra semana conmigo. Thank you so much for being here for another week with me. I'm librarian Daniel, soy el bibliotecario Daniel, and I'm so happy to be here with you today. Are you ready to saltar al español? We are going to step into Spanish today. We are going to learn a little bit more this week, the way we've learned every week together. So thank you so much for being here. I'm having so much fun learning new words, new songs, and reading new books every week with you. So I hope you're excited too. If you couldn't tell, we have a special theme today. Can you guess? Los colores! Vamos a hablar de los colores. We are going to talk about all of the colors today. So, I thought it would be great to just get started with our hello song, and then we're going to learn everything we can about los colores. So, voy a sacar la guitarra, okay? And we're going to sing our hello song together. Now, if you've never sang it before, the words are going to be up here on the screen, and so you can sing along. We're going to start in English. And I'm going to need your help. Can you take out your waving hands? Ready? Hello, it's so nice to see you. Hello, it's so nice to see you. Hello, it's so nice to see you. Welcome to story time. In español. Cantamos. Hola, qué lindo verles. Hola, qué lindo verles. Hola, qué lindo verles. Aquí en Story Time. Muy bien. Muy bien. Pues, muchísimas gracias por estar aquí conmigo para aprender nuevas cosas como siempre. I am so excited to continue to learn new things with you. And a great way to start any day is to say hello to the people in your home and ask them how they are. So we're going to practice that by singing Buenos Dias, okay? So I'm going to start in Español. The lyrics are here on the screen. So follow along with me. I'm going to sing. Yo voy a cantar. Y luego ustedes van a repetir. You're going to repeat, okay? So, yo canto. Tú repite. ¿Listas? Buenos días. Buenos días. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien, gracias. Muy bien, gracias. Y usted. Y usted. In English, we say, Good morning. Good morning. How are you? How are you? Very well, thank you. Very well, thank you. You. How about you? How about you? Muy bien! And we're going to try something a little hard, but it's going to be really fun if we can learn how to do it. Yo voy a cantar en español, and you are going to repeat in English. Okay? So follow the words on the screen. You can also sing with me in español, si prefieres but try to repeat after me, but in English, okay? Buenos dias, good morning. Como estas? How are you? Muy bien, gracias. Very well, thank you. 
you step? How about you? Muy bien! I know it can be really hard to switch back and forth between languages, but it's a really important thing to learn how to do. There's gonna always be days where you'll speak a little bit of Spanish and a little bit of English, or a lot of Spanish and a little bit of English, or a lot of English and a little bit of Spanish. So it's really important to be able to move in between these languages, to know that when I say, buenos dias, that means good morning. Y si te pregunto, ¿cómo estás? You can tell me very well, thank you. <sighs> well, it has just been such a fun time learning all these new things. And I found some wonderful books today about colors and I realized, we haven't gone over all the colors. So we are gonna learn all about the colors of the rainbow today so that we can get comfortable using those words and describing things. So the first thing we have to do is aprender las palabras de todos los colores. So vamos a comenzar con eso. So we are going to learn every color word. I'm gonna start in the order of the rainbow with rojo, rojo. That is the color red. Now, ¿qué es algo que tiene el color rojo? What is something besides this egg that is red? Hmm. Quizás el corazón, a heart, el corazón. Yeah, hearts are red. Muy bien. And now, how about the color orange? Anaranjado, el color naranja. Anaranjado. What is something? that is orange. ¿Qué es algo que tiene el color anaranjado? Una naranja, an orange, right? An orange, la fruta, the fruit, la, el, la naranja is the color anaranjado. That's a really long word. Let's say it one more time really slow. Anaranjado. Anaranjado. Yes, very good. What color comes next in this rainbow? Bueno, el color amarillo. Amarillo. Now, what is something that is yellow? ¿Qué es algo que tiene el color amarillo? Un león. <sighs> Un león, a lion. Lions are yellow, right? A little bit. Muy bien. ¿Qué color viene próximo en el arco iris? What is the next color? in the rainbow. Verde! Green, my favorite color, mi color preferido, el favorito de mí. El color verde, verde, green. So what is something that is green? ¿Qué es algo que tiene el color verde? La hierba, ¿verdad? Grass, la hierba. Yeah, grass is green, and so are many plants. We could even say, las plantas, en general, son verdes. Green. Next, maybe my second favorite color. What comes next in the rainbow? 
Azul. Azul. Blue. Now, what is something that is blue? That's not my shirt, or a scarf, or an egg. ¿Qué es algo que es azul? Color azul. El cielo. The sky. El cielo es azul. Right? The sky is blue. Good job. What's another color? El color morado. Morado. Now, purple is a color with more than one name in Spanish. En español se puede decir morado, lo que yo prefiero. También se puede decir purpura. Purpura. Que en algunos países se prefiere. In some countries they like to say Purpura instead of morado. But you can say either word, whatever is your favorite. So, yo voy a decir morado. So, what is something that is el color morado? What's something that's purple? Hmm, that's a hard one. ¿Qué es algo que tiene el color uh, morado? Uvas, grapes, las uvas, the fruit, the grapes, they're purple, right? Sometimes they can be verde also, but there are purple grapes. Uvas moradas. Muy bien. Now, I want to, there's a couple other colors that are kind of colors, right? We have blanco. Wow, it's blending in. We have white, blanco. Now, ¿qué es algo que es blanco? What's something that's white? Hmm. Maybe las nubes, clouds. Maybe there are white clouds, right? Nubes, blancos. Muy bien. And another color that's actually all of the colors in one. Uh, el color negro. El color negro, black. Now, what is something that is black? Hmm. Maybe una cueva, maybe a cave. The opening of a cave is black. Um, quizás mi micrófono, maybe a microphone is black. Yeah, hay muchas cosas que pueden ser negras, ¿verdad? And one more color that can be all types of shades is el color café or marrón, brown. Now this is tan, but it's basically a shade of brown, right? So, we have two words in Spanish that say brown also. We can say el color café, like the color of coffee, el color café. Or we can say marrón, marrón. Yeah, and what's something that is brown? La tierra, ¿verdad? The earth, dirt, right? Maybe la tierra es marrón. Muy bien. Very good. That is all of the colors. There's, of course, so many colors and so many shades of colors. But that's a great place to start. So I thought a great thing to do now that we know the words for all of these colors. Ahora que conocemos todos los nombres de los colores, vamos a leer un libro sobre... Los colores. We're going to read a book about colors. Now, this book is actually about trying to find a color we don't know. It's called De Que Color Es Un Beso? What Color Is a Kiss? 
we don't know, so we're going to find out. Are you ready? We're going to read De Que Color Es Un Beso by Rocio Bonilla. All right. Muy bien. Wow. I love that book. Me encantó ese libro. What did we learn? Well, we learned that so many things can be the color of a kiss. We can have a red or an orange or a yellow or a green or a blue or a purple or a pink kiss, even a black or a gray. But she thinks that all of the colors can also be kisses. They all have things that remind her of love and care from her parents and family. Muy bien. Y aprendimos las palabras de todos estos colores, ¿verdad? We learned so many things that can be red, that can be orange, or yellow, or green, or blue. So you should try and go through your day looking at things and saying, that cloud es blanco, and the sky es azul, right? Muy bien. So I wanted to sing a song with you today to practice colors. And it's gonna be a little different than you're used to. We're going to sing, I'm a little teapot. Soy una teterita. But we're gonna have some fun with it today, okay? We're gonna sing it the regular way, and I'll have the words up on the screen for you to read along. But we're also gonna be different colors of tea kettle. So we're gonna practice being different colors. So, follow after me. We're gonna have a lot of fun. But first, we need to stand up. So, vamos a levantarnos. Parense, stand up. Y ya cantamos. Muy bien. Awesome. We are going to sing I'm a little teapot. Soy una teterita. The words are here on the screen and sing along with me. Ready? I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Boop, tip me over and pour me out. Muy bien. En español cantamos. Soy una teterita chica y ancha. Esta es mi boca y esta es mi asa. Cuando me caliento silbaré. Piérteme y vacíame. Muy bien. You know the great thing about teapots. If you drink a lot of tea, you know they can be really fancy. That means you can have them in all types of colors. So vamos a cantar como si fuéramos teteritas de colores distintas. So we are going to be little teapots of different colors. Okay? So what's some good colors that we could start with? Maybe rojo y verde, yeah? So let's be una teterita roja y verde, yeah? All right, listos? Soy una teterita roja y verde. Esta es mi boca y esta es mi asa. Cuando me caliento silbaré, piérteme y vacíame. Muy bien. What's another color that we could be for our teapot? Maybe azul y amarillo? Let's do blue and yellow. 
Ready? Soy una teterita azul y amarillo. Esta es mi boca y esta es mi asa. Cuando me caliento silbaré. Diérteme y vacíame. Muy bien. What other colors do we have? Anaranjado? That's a big one. Let's do just orange. Anaranjado. Soy una teterita anaranjada. Esta es mi boca y esta es mi asa. Cuando me caliento silbaré. Piéteme y vacíame. That only leaves two colors left. That's morado y rosa. So we're going to be purple and pink. ¿Listos? Soy una teterita morado y rosa. Esta es mi boca y esta es mi asa. Cuando me caliento silbaré. Piérteme y vacíame. Muy bien. Muy bien, muy bien. Muy bien. Muchísimas gracias por cantar conmigo. I love singing and I love practicing words when I'm dancing and singing. So it's a great way to learn new words. To finish today, I wanted to read one more book with you. It's a book I like a lot because it's not only about colors, it's about emotions and the way we feel. So, vamos a leer El Monstruo de los Colores, El Monstruo de Colores by Ana Llenas. Ready? Muchísimas gracias por leer ese libro conmigo. Thank you so much for reading that book with me today. I learn a lot from these books, not just about all of the things and their colors associated with them, but also about your emotions, about the things that you like and appreciate, even knowing the color of a kiss from someone you love or why you feel mad all these things can be expressed in colors. So, muchísimas gracias por aprender todos los colores conmigo hoy. Yo sé que se ha aprendido mucho. I know we've learned so much. So, thank you so much for being with me here today. I'm so excited to keep learning with you over the next few weeks. So, please come back, stay tuned, and keep watching Step Into Spanish. Saltar al Español. Muchísimas gracias por acompañarme en este viaje y nos vemos hasta la próxima. Chao.